A very good evening to our viewers out there. My name is Usman Alajilawan. I'm happy to introduce my program, M.A. Abu Bakr's Diary. A four-year administrative documentary of His Excellency Muhammad Abdullah Abu Bakr, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, former Governor of Bauchi State. Even though his administration has passed, but his legacy still remains to be filled in the heart of the good people of Bauchi State. And our guest for today is Honorable Najimuddin Garba, former SA Student Affairs to His Excellency Muhammad Abdullah Abu Bakr on Student Affairs. Welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. So if I will ask you this question, who is Emi Abu Bakr? Well, I can say Emi Abu Bakr is a kind of leader mm. who always trying to uh, give his time, mm. attention, energy, mm. and knowledge mm. uh, for the state. What I mean by for the state and is for the people around him mm. and in working relationship, mm. uh, in uh, brainstorming on issues concerning the state, and most especially whenever you brought to the table. Mm. And the most important thing is to, you know, convince him oh. on the importance and the economic value added to the, to the state. Okay. So an MA has passion for the younger generation. I can see that. That is why a lot of us, mm. uh, you will see in a very... Uh, a big, big position in his cabinet. So you, you <clears throat> served as a special advisor on student affairs. Exactly. So uh, can you share the series of uh, achievements you recorded uh, under your office? Let me begin by one program, mm. uh, Governor Emi Abuakar Educational Empowerment Program, okay. where we intend to, you know, sponsor uh, about 50,000 students wow. enrollment wow. In, the high, in the tertiary institution. Wow. And during his tenure, mm. in, in these four years, mm. we are able to pay a uh, bursary allowance yeah. uh, for the tertiary student. Wow. And then there are a lot of uh, uh, program, mm. be it uh, overseas scholarship oh. and in Czech Republic, oh. in Cyprus, and China. China. And also, mm. there are uh, not really a group scholarship. We, we assess some students and we send them individually to some countries to go and acquire knowledge. The most important is on, mm. in all in all, mm. What we look into is mm. the economic value to the state. Mm. And M.A. Abubakar, during, during his time, he was the only governor mm. that were able to meet up with the UNESCO mm. standard wow. of uh, budgeting 20% derivation allocation to the education. Wow. And that is why he were able to, if you, if you look at the state poly before his emergence, yeah. And after when he, we, he were living, mm. you will see two different pictures. Yes. And it's it simply because he mm. invested so, so much, much in education. In education. Wow. And College of Education, Kangere, before mm. was uh, formal and informal education, he, he upgraded the school to the College of Education. Wow. He invested so much. If you look at the structure, mm. and Aminu Saleh, and all the tertiary institutions mm. in the state. Wow. So a lot of intervention, even the workshop, seminar, train the trainer, just to make sure that he improved the sector. Oh. Uh, before his emergence, mm. the, 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 the rate of uh, Waek and Neko, mm. uh, the, uh, the student, the pupils who mm. get in the requirement for university yeah. were only 3%. Wow. But next, the year after his emergence, oh he were able to, you know, to improve the education sector to be 17. Wow. And I, I think he left uh, office, mm. we, we are rating about 20, uh, sorry, 30, 30 something. I can't exactly wow. remember the figure. So that shows that 
the you know the, the airport met has been uh, produced a very good result so you have witnessed uh, a lot of our administration the, you know the kind of the previous administration and the recent administration exactly so what's the uniqueness of uh, governor muhammad abdullah Abubakar's administration uh, yes i can say emi abubakar his own leadership style yeah he 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 trying to do the best okay. even if this is not supported by the uh you know the elite oh. yeah, that is why he he had a lot of conflict and <laughs> when he during his time mm -hmm. he, he do the best he trying to do that there are many things he were able to do during his time okay. but it's not physically uh he's not it's not visible okay It'll take for instance the the civil service yeah he 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 inherited a very decayed system oh. but uh during his time he he worked so much mm. to make sure that the system worked for the betterment of the state oh. so sir in conclusion what will you um there are a lot of people out there you know you know who are wishing his excellency to come back for the second term to contest as a governor and there are a lot of people who are you know uh, um you know wishing him well among the good people of Bochester. so what uh, can you extend as a, a, a goodwill message to the good people of Bochester? well for me i can say i wish him all the best because uh, the almighty you know the best yeah so i wish him all the best yeah. from his almighty yeah. but um maybe mm. they are saying so because of the leadership uh, you know he exhibited during, during his, his time because yeah. he's uh he's a very friendly and and uh, student uh, friendly governor well wow. he he interact he give his time to the young people most especially the student yeah and he supported them in so many ways yeah. and that maybe that is why they are agitating for for him to come for, back. yes exactly so Ta, we thank you for being in the program thank you very much for having you Thank you so much.